Faith is barking at the squirrels. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am jo- Ooh, she's going crazy. I am Joshua Abel, and it is a beautiful Saturday morning. It's a little chilly out here. It's that crisp fall air, which a lot of people love. I'm more of a, uh, you know, high 80s type guy. So it's probably in the mid 60s, maybe. But it's Saturday, it's time to relax. The family and I are going apple picking. I have never been apple picking in my entire life. The only apples I've ever picked have been stolen off of a neighbor's tree or something like that. I've never actually gone to a farm that I remember and picked apples. So I'm super excited about that and I will definitely take you on for the journey. But I am mailing off um, my probation <laughs> uh, report. Uh, I, I have to do this every single month. Um, and um, I am going to make my, well, it's not my first payment, but it's my first payment in a long time so that I can start chipping away at that debt. Um, and I paid my, um, my fine. So now my driver's license is valid. Now, I went online, I paid the fine, and it even says valid on, on, on my um, driver's account. And so I feel like I'm 16 years old again. You know when you first get your driver's license and you're like, yeah, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> but um, I tried to order a replacement and all it's allowing me to do is uh, order an ID card, which it specifically says right there, not valid for driving. I'm like, well, crap. I mean, what, what? So I'm gonna have to call them. I don't know if they're gonna be open on Monday because it's Columbus Day or not, but um, I'll have to call them next week, figure out what I can do. But the important thing is it's valid. And so I am taking great steps in, um, in, uh, what the heck was I talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm taking steps in, um, you know, creating this life of awesomeness, getting back on track, and um, and turning my life around. Um, I this morning I woke up at I think it was four four o'clock or so. Yeah, it was like four o'clock. Um, just kind of chilled outside in the cool air and um, had some coffee, which is probably why I'm kind of jacked up. But. Um, and then um, started writing a blog post. Now, if you haven't checked out my blog, you can check it out at thesimplesoberlife.com. I produce a blog that comes out every Monday. And yeah, just for some added bonus material and things like that. So I have to get dressed and um, uh, get ready for apple picking. I'll probably wear a sweater. The only pair of jeans that I have are filthy from work. So um, I'll probably have to wear like a sweater and some shorts. So, you know, I'll get that preppy look going on. Um, but as you can tell, I'm in a good mood. It's Saturday. I don't have to slave away at the job. And it's going to be a good day. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. I will check back in um, in a bit. I'll, well, of course I will. I'm going to take apple picking with me. Um, and then I'm sure I'll have a topic or something later on. But have yourself a fantastic morning. Take care, my friends. Bye.
got so many apples. We got uh, Granny Smiths, we got Fuji's, we got some uh, Pink Ladies. Yes, and we are going to eat all of them. I don't know how we could possibly get so many apples and them not go bad, but Brian and Katie both said that they um, these apples all hold up pretty well. So we will be eating apples for quite a while. We made it back at Safe and Sound, which is always good. And we had such a fantastic time. I have never been apple picking before, but I had a blast. You know, picking up those, those perfectly crisp and firm apples. We got Granny Smiths, we got Pink Ladies, we got Fuji's, and we literally got a buttload of apples. Seriously, apples are falling out of my butt. It's, it's ridiculous, it's insane. It's, it was the only way we could carry all the apples, was store them in our butts. And now they're all falling out. But <laughs> anyway, um, after apple picking, we um, went and had lunch at Culver's, which was fantastic. I hadn't eaten there in, gosh, it's probably been a couple of years at least. And I had this um, brownie tornado uh, frozen custard thing along with a big fat burger and a um, cheese curd. I mean, you can't go to Culver's and not have cheese curds. I mean, there's something wrong with you if you don't have the cheese curds. Something wrong. I guess I'm a Midwestern boy that's, that's kind of coming out in me with the, uh, with the cheese curds. <laughs> um, but then we went um, thrift, shores, uh, thrift store shopping. <laughs> I literally have one pair of jeans and I use them for work. And so they're dingy and nasty and gross. And other than that, I have two pairs of khakis. I am a, minim a minimalist at its finest. I have literally gotten rid of just about everything I own. Not by choice. <laughs> but, uh, um, uh, you know, I'm slowly starting to build things back up one step at a time. Um, you know, I paid those fines this morning and now my primor primary focus is on getting a car because Friday when I went to work, I literally became a snowman. I had to brush off icicles <laughs> from my nose going to work at six in the morning. It was freezing. So car, car is next. But um, in between going to thrift stores, uh, we stopped at, off at a gas station and I went inside and I was standing behind these two guys and one of them was wasted, completely wasted dressed in pajama pants and an old ratty t-shirt. Everything was kind of falling off of him. He fl fl flurring his words and, and falling over. And I stood beh behind him and I just kind of watched him for a second. And my initial reaction was, ugh, what a disgusting human being. Ugh. God, I was repulsed and uh, mortified that someone would actually go out in public like that. Disgusting. Hello? Moron? That was you like four months ago. So I was, I, I was sitting here and, you know, I was, I was thinking about the situation and he actually, um, he actually got in the car they got in the car and drove away. They actually wound up at the thrift store, the next thrift store that we hit. So that was kind of weird. But um, yeah, so I need to be less judgmental. And you know, I did a video on the stigma of alcoholism. I'll put a link down to it uh, below. And the stigma that I always felt or I feel I was projecting on this guy and, you know, sitting back and thinking about it, um, I realized that I should not have done that or I should not do that. I, you know, I was literally in that situation not too long ago. Um, you know, towards the end of my drinking, I, you know, my tolerance level was so high. A lot of people couldn't tell except for the alcohol smell pouring through my skin. Um, but you know, I, I can't, 
The, the purpose of, one of the purposes of creating these videos is to help other people in that situation who want to, you know, grasp control of that aspect of their life and take steps into creating a life of awesome. And, you know, for me to have that mentality of judgment, that's really counterproductive to the goals that I want to obtain. And the whole purpose of, of this, uh, of these videos. And so, you know, I really need to take a step back and, and put my judgment in check. Um, you know, uh, and it's really easy for me to, to slip in and start judging people. You know, even when I was drunk, um, you know, lying down in a pool of, you know, piss or vomit, um, I would still be judging people. And, you know, now that I have some clarity and am able to think logically and I should better try to empathize with people in that situation if I, if I want to, um, you know, uh, continue on with this path. So it was kind of an awakening moment. Um, I'm literally just sitting here right now thinking back on the situation and how I reacted um, to uh, that, um, that situation. So, you know, that's something that I need to, to concentrate and focus a little more on emotionally, you know, being more empathetic and, um, and not casting so much judgment on people, especially when I was there not too long ago. But I hope you're having a fantastic day Saturday. I certainly have. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, we've got a great breeze out, breeze out here. It's um, probably in the mid uh, mid 70s or so. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> but I hope you're enjoying your day. If you're getting value out of these videos, please make sure to subscribe and comment down below. What fun things have you done for the very first time uh, recently? Today I went apple picking. I've never done that before and I had a blast. So comment down below. Let me know what you are doing to create a life of awesome and what new things are you trying. Also give this video a thumbs up. Check out my blog. A new one's coming out on Monday. That'll be linked down below. And I created a Facebook fan page, which I... Uh, uh, or I guess it's just a Facebook page now, uh, which I'll put that down below. If you want to um, get uh, more involved, then I encourage you to do so. My friends, enjoy your day. Take care. Bye.